Can you guess what day it is? It is moving day. I cannot believe the day is finally here. It is January 1st and today's the day that I move out. If you're new here, I'm moving out of my parents' house into my first ever apartment and I'm living alone. Today kind of marks the start of that whole journey. This morning, I packed up the cars. My parents are the best and they are taking a car each. So we have three cars total filled with boxes and suitcases. If you haven't watched my first two moving videos yet, go check them out. It's my packing, preparing, furniture shopping video and then my apartment hunting video. Today is the day though. I am so excited. I am actually very nervous. I'm actually kind of, freaking out. Anyway, here's the last looks at my bedroom. I'm literally gonna come back tomorrow, so it's not that serious because I can't bring my furniture today. I had to get an elevator reservation, so I couldn't bring that today. We're just bringing boxes and suitcases, but she's pretty naked. Everything is empty and there's nothing on the shelves, so it's kind of sad, but I'm also very excited. Today's the day, you guys. I have been waiting for this for so long. I cannot believe it. My mom was like, Ava, your skin looks so glowy, like you look so happy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is literally sweat on my face. <sighs> anyway. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. I love you. I love you, little towel boy. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we are doing it. If it sounds like it's raining, that's because it is a pelting rain outside. I've got my car filled with all of my suitcases, with clothes. I will say four of them are mini sized, but then I also have like five trash bags of clothes. Anyway, it is time to do the thing. <laughs> what is life right now, you guys? This is insane. I'm driving to my apartment. I'm driving, I'm driving to, my to my apartment. My apartment. Oh boy. I am first gonna pick up Connor. He is gonna be helping a lot with this move. I'm putting that boy to work. And then we're gonna pick up my keys. I'm meeting with the property manager. He's gonna do one last little like rundown of the apartment and things I need to know. This is nuts. This is nuts. No one talks about how weird it is to move out of your parents' home for the first time. Tonight is gonna be a whole other realization when I'm not going back home to sleep in my bed because I'm gonna have a new bed, I'm gonna have a new home. I'm gonna have to make it a home, which is very exciting to me. Also, it's a little stressful because I obviously want it to be a very safe and comforting space for me just because at home, my parents' house, it just feels so homey and cozy, obviously, because I grew up there. It's just gonna be weird living in a new place after 21 years of living in one place. I've never moved, my family has never moved, so I grew up in that house. And it's just weird to leave. It's so weird. More thoughts to come on this whole moving out for the first time thing. I am rambling because I'm starting to get a little anxious, but I'm like excited. I'm mostly excited. I just have a lot of feelings going on. So it's hard to tell what it is. I just feel there's just so much going on. I feel very flustered. Anyway, moving day, day one, let's go. I'm in my apartment. I'm in my apartment. I just got the keys. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out, oh my gosh. What do you think? Thoughts? This is Connor's first time seeing it, actually. Yeah, this is only my it's second time. super nice, it's like brat, everything's brand new, mm -hmm. clean. I love the white walls. Is it like any different than the photos I showed you? No, it looks the exact same almost. Yeah, like, it's just weird being here. I know. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Welcome to my first ever apartment tour. So you walk in, we actually have a really big like entryway area so I can put maybe like a shelf or something. We've got a full washer and dryer. So nice to have this, this is a huge closet. And then you walk in and this is my new home. Basically this is gonna be my living room. We've got a good space to work with. I can put like a TV right here. I'm gonna put a couch right here. Right here is where our coffee table will be. There's just so much room to work with. I honestly don't know what I'm doing yet because this is only my second time visiting this apartment. So I'm still like catching my bearings with everything. But we have the nicest. You guys know I love good lighting. So the fact that this has ceiling to floor windows 
is literally amazing all around the apartment. It has amazing lighting and we're facing east, which is where the sun rises. So we're gonna have beautiful morning light. We even have a little balcony. It's a little rainy outside right now, but this is the balcony. It's honestly such a nice size and it's covered. So it's not really even getting that wet, which is really amazing when it rains, but it's so nice to have this outdoor area. If I need to get some fresh air, that is amazing. And here we have the kitchen. It is so nice. I honestly really love the open concept in here because literally the living room is gonna be right here. It goes from carpet to tile, which is really nice. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm the first person living here, so it is brand baby new. Let's hope that don't, I'm not gonna say that. Anyway, I am determined to learn how to cook in this kitchen because it is Finally. We have a beautiful pantry right here. Do you know how many snacks? Do you know how many snacks I'm gonna be able to shove in this thing? A lot is the answer. I'm obsessed with the colors of the kitchen. We've got a beautiful fridge, all Bosch appliances. Look how gorgeous. <gasps> oh, it's an egg holder. <laughs> that is so cute. Did that come with it or they I gave it? Maybe it was a gift. No, I don't know. <laughs> Literally look how beautiful all of these appliances are. They are just so pretty and new. I have so, it's actually insane how much storage I'm gonna yeah, have. Yeah, that's here. a lot of like. Right? Even like the corners. I have out. room for literally everything I could possibly need, which is so nice. Look how big the sink is. This is my sink. Oh my gosh, I'm a dishwasher. Let's go to the main bedroom. Welcome to my bedroom. I have a mattress that I'm gonna put in here today, but so this is the bedroom. Again, there's just so much natural light in here. There's not too good of lighting because it's really cloudy today, but there's a window. Like, if I ever need fresh air, I can simply look down. It's literally insane how this is gonna go from empty to my home. So this is my bedroom. I will say what sold me. I have not one, but two closets and one of them is a walk-in. <laughs> like, I have never had a walk-in closet because walk-in closets, fun fact, are not that common in Hawaii and you guys seen the closets I have at home. They're just like the marriage sliding ones. So I've never had this. It's always been my dream to have a walk-in closet and now I have one and she has her own light. Right here is the second one and this is honestly pretty big too. Like if you look in here, <laughs> this is the main bathroom. Um, a lot of exciting things to happen in here. I don't know. I love that this has like storage right there. It's kind of convenient. This is where I'm going to be showering for the next year and however long. I'm so excited. It's literally so pretty. It's just so nice that everything is new and that I'm going to be the first person to use all of it. Show them the mirror. They're just me on the camera. <laughs> There's so much storage, so much counter space. This is called Jack and Jill sinks. So typically you have one person doing their thing here, one person here. But since I'm living here alone, maybe like one will be for a specific thing. That's really dramatic. You know what I just realized? What? Maybe I should only use one of them so I don't have to clean two sinks. So it doesn't end there. I literally have a second bedroom, which was not the plan when I originally went apartment hunting just because obviously Hawaii is an expensive place to live but I really lucked out with this apartment because it is a two bedroom and it is going to be my office. So we have a bathroom right here which is pretty much identical to the one I just showed you but it just has one sink so this will be like the guest bathroom and where I can put like skincare and makeup PR. I haven't decided exactly what's going on in here but this is the second bathroom <laughs> and this is going to be my office. I can't believe I'm gonna have an office. Lots of filming is gonna happen in this room. I'm just so excited to finally have an office because I obviously never had one before. This is my home for the next little bit. And this is her empty. I'm so excited to see what I do with it. Welcome to my new apartment. A very special person out there, her name is Kimmy. She has a cake business and uh, Look what she made me. I literally almost started crying when I saw this, but I didn't because I didn't want to ruin my makeup. <laughs> read it. 
It says, welcome to your new home, Ava. <laughs> that is literally, like, that's, that's just that so sweet. sweet. Yeah. This is a whole cake. It literally looks amazing. It is beautiful. I will put her Instagram at on the screen if you live in Hawaii and you want a special little cake, but I don't know. This is just the cherry on top. It literally feels like it's meant to be. My parents are on the way, actually. So we're gonna start unloading. This empty apartment is not gonna be empty much longer because there's gonna be lots of boxes, lots of suitcases. It's about to get crazy. Mom, tell them what you brought for me as my first fridge well, item. Since you love your uh, little Elmo's <laughs> and preserved apple juice and fruit punch, I just thought it'd be nice to Christmas. Amazing, <laughs> literal child, okay. Of course, and some peaches. And some peaches. And two Elani's. Nice, let's Case put it in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, we need a lot of energy drinks for this move-in yes. process. Oh, Amazing. I know, look, look, look at this. I've never seen this before, look. <gasps> literal egg oh, holders, I love goodbye. Oh, Absolutely perfect. adorable. <laughs> perfect. It's coming together. Very exciting things. My fridge is stocked. <laughs> you got some peaches. <laughs> this is exciting. All of the boxes have been officially moved in. That is everything, which is literally insane. I thought that was gonna take a lot longer, but with the four of us, it's pretty good. Guess who officially has toilet paper? Yay! I have a shower caddy. Everything else is literally mess, but I have a toilet paper and I have a, I have fruit punch, I have juice packs, so. <laughs> the essentials. Big moment coming up, we're unboxing my mattress, which is so exciting because I obviously need a bed. That's like the most important thing. Oh my God, come on. Oh my God, I just ripped the box. And just like that, I have a mattress. We got up all the boxes. Literally, it was so nice having everyone helping me. I cannot imagine doing this alone. It only took maybe like an hour and a half to get everything up. I think we're gonna take a trip to Target because there's a lot of essentials that I need that I currently do not have. I actually have a list on my phone of everything that I need to get because there's just no way I would remember it in my head. So I have a whole notes list. Anyway, world's biggest Target haul is about to happen. Let's go to Target. I also peed for the first time in my apartment. I'm officially done for the day at Target. We filled up two whole carts, and honestly, this is not even everything that I'm gonna need, but it is an amazing start. We hardly got any food. This is mostly just like essential stuff. We have two big carts, and we're gonna go home now. Target haul. I'm going to speed through this like you've never seen me speed through a haul before. So interesting. We've got a toilet brush for all of my toilet brushing needs. I don't know. We've got some toilet cleaner. So exciting. Some trash baggies. I got a utensil set, which is very exciting. Got some forks, some spoons, some soda crackers too. This is for Connor. This is his comfort snack. Uncrustables more cleaning stuff, some napkins, yay. Some Boom Chicka Pop with real butter popcorn. I got some Monster Trail Mix, delicious. This is so exciting for no reason, but wait, what is this small one for? 
Oh, that falls in when you rip the, the Oh, paper. cute. Yeah. It's a paper towel holder. Some more snackies, a black and white cookie. Ooh, a trash bin. Wow. I got a trash bin for my bathroom. We got some pizza for tonight. I got a mini pan. This will be for my eggies in the morning. Some stainless steel mixing bowls. I am not organizing anything right now. No. That will be a whole other vlog, don't you worry. Q-tips, awesome. Some baking sheets. We've got a pizza baking sheet, which I will obviously be using tonight. A wooden spoon, a plastic spoon, kitchen scissors, a spatula. Yeah, deodorant. I really, really actually really need this. ASAP, it's been a long day. I got some food storage containers. I can reuse these, which is awesome. I got two sizes in that. Ooh, a salad kit. Ooh, I also got shower poops. A plunger. Woohoo! Some pink scrubbies. Some chip clips. So cool. I'm actually really excited about this for no reason. It's a napkin holder, but it matches my countertops which really excites me for no reason. Got some thin chocolate chip cookies. You never know when the craving is gonna arise. This is like the first big girl haul that I've done from Target. This is so crazy. Another deodorant because I need a bottle opener. I'm, I'm 21. 21. Yay. <laughs> and a can opener. So really very quite exciting. I got this for my utensils. I have no idea where I want to put this. Another storage container thing. And that's kind of it. I got more cleaning supplies and stuff. I'm not gonna go through it because I still have yet to figure out what does what. I kind of know. We're just gonna figure it out along the way. Anyway, that was my first ever Target haul in my apartment. The first of many. Mother, what did you do? I thought it said three quarters a cup. It said three quarters of a cap full. And she put three full so I put three juicy caps. Yeah. Okay. And she is literally foaming up. Anyway, Oops. that's my sheets <laughs> that I'm supposed to sleep on tonight. They're gonna be extra, extra clean. Sorry. Amazing. <laughs> I just took my first shower in the apartment. It is so funny because everything is like my first everything everything is like a first and right now it is gonna be my first meal here is it home cooked no but i feel like it's proper to ring in a new apartment with an oven pizza it just feels right i literally have nothing set up which stresses me out and the fact that like everything is in boxes stresses me out because i just want to do everything but i am so tired and exhausted so this is gonna be it tonight and i'm honestly so excited i feel like this is gonna hit the spot I have to use the oven for the first time, which is a little terrifying. One wrong move and I am done for. Love that. Okay, very excited to eat dinner. I feel like this whole day I've just been go, go, go. We did have a very nice lunch at Whole Foods, but I just have been hungry this whole day because we've been on the go. The one and only thing that is quote unquote done in my apartment is this beautiful little setup in my kitchen. We've got some dish soap in this, some hand soap, and literally Target had pink scrubs, which I thought was adorable, so. That makes me happy that that's done. I still have yet to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow because today was just getting everything here, going to Target, getting some essentials. But tomorrow there's a lot of different routes I could go. I could do a big grocery shop because I have no food here, just a few snackies. There's a lot I need to do for that or unpacking, which is gonna take forever. I need to build furniture. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for day two. So you guys will see moving vlog day two very soon. I just wanna let you know here that since these are the moving vlogs and so much exciting things are happening, I'm gonna be uploading twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays. So it's gonna be very, very fun. I'm so excited to upload twice a week. But if you do wanna follow in real time, make sure you check out my Instagram because that is all in real time, in the moment, whether these vlogs are kinda delayed. Tomorrow is gonna be a big, big day. It's gonna be my first morning in the apartment, which is nuts. Today is my first night in the apartment. Connor's staying with me, which I'm really excited about because I think I would have a little bit of a meltdown if I was alone right now because everything is just so new and there's like so much and the fact that it's like empty you know there's just a lot to do so i'm like i said a little overwhelmed which is okay but i'm just mostly excited so grateful i get to share this with you guys and so grateful that i can even move out and do all of this i think tomorrow will be my first night alone here 
But for the first night, I wanted some company, so I'm definitely very happy about that. Let's get the pizza ready to go. I get to use my pizza baking sheet, which is so exciting. Here she is, uncooked, still looking stunning. Here is my beautiful salad. She tastes so good and nutritious. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm currently eating this out of a mixing bowl because I don't have other bowls right now. And it is hitting the spot. Cheers. Obviously there's no place to sit yet and so I have been doing all of my snacking and all of my eating sitting down on the ground, which has not been as bad as I thought it'd be. It's actually kind of fun, but I'm definitely excited to have a dining table. I'm just excited to have furniture in here, period. But I don't know, it's kind of... Just a part of moving in that I feel like is kind of fun if you look at it that way. It's like, oh my gosh, this is empty and I'm going to turn it into a home. If you hear background noise, that's because I have a wash going because I'm washing all of my linens and towels and stuff right now. But I wanted to end day one of my moving vlogs. So many are coming up. Again, follow me on Instagram for in real time updates and you guys can subscribe if you want to follow along on this journey. My first time moving out, moving out of my childhood home. That is just insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this first moving vlog. There are so many more coming your way. I'll see you in moving vlog day three, day two, day five, day seven. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me, for being so kind, for being my friend. You guys are the best. Adios.